Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to see part two of installing a gas fireplace. This video is made for entertainment and reference purposes only. And speaking of gas, unless you're a gas fitter, you should never be installing a gas line or doing any kind of gas work on your home. You need a tradesman who is licensed, insured, experienced, and of course professional to do that kind of work. Here we have the base and it's been leveled and built to withstand an elephant standing on it. So when you build yours, build it to that spec. From there, we went on to open up the entire mantle so we can access and add new studs and remove the old exhaust and intake from the previous fireplace. From there, we had the homeowner blow a hole through the wall, as you see here, so we can install the new intake and exhaust plus the fixture on the outside of the house. We added a box here to prevent any debris from falling into the fireplace. Here we have all the intake and exhaust ports coming through the wall. Next we'll add them in. But before that, we will be adding in the blower motor for the fireplace. It's fixed to the back and it's activated by a thermostatic switch that turns on about approximately after 50 minutes of the fireplace being run and it's controlled through a speed knob that's the thermostat here is a speed knob for high and low and it's hardwired in the fireplace is also hardwired in to the household electrical then we have the low voltage line which is switch on the wall which is very typical and that activates switch Sorry, that activates the fireplace from going on and off. From here, we installed the shields, the intake and exhaust piping, the flex pipe, onto the fireplace itself. From there, we went into the ceramic shields that are like a mirror type finish and added like a broken glass for the front part of the fireplace. We could have done it for the entire part of it. However, we wanted to save that just for the wood or the false wood alone. We arranged it in such a way that it would look as natural as possible. Homeowner approved. After that, we installed the glass for the fireplace and then turned on the gas to see what would happen. What else survived? From there, we added the shield that goes onto the fireplace, which you'll see in the next video after this one. These shields are installed to prevent kids from burning themselves and or adults. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video. Be safe and always have a gas fitter to install gas lines.